Hello everyone, it's Luke here with Fish and Hunt with Luke. Uh, thanks again for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Uh, I have a really exciting video for you guys today. Um, I'm going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages to hydro turf, specifically on a duck hunting fishing boat. Um, I just recently installed a, a hydro turf cut green or cut groove gator green uh, onto my 1860 War Eagle, uh, mainly a duck boat, but sometimes I use it for fishing as well. Um, let's jump right into it. Uh, what is hydro turf and, and why would I go with hydro turf? Well, here is a little scrap piece of hydro turf. It's almost like a neoprene. Uh, it's about five mil. I think you can order it in, in a little bit uh, thinner, but I would definitely get the five mil. You can see right here about the thickness of it. Um, and this is the cut groove style uh, hydro turf. So it's like a, a really dense foam. Uh, kind of like neoprene, but uh, but much more dense than that. So uh, that's kind of an overview of, of what the stuff is. Um, let's talk about, let's jump right into the advantages of hydro turf. First and foremost, it provides a, a nice cushy uh, surface uh, for ankle support and then also for safety purposes. If you have kids and things like that, it's, it's a little bit of a, um, instead of them bumping their heads on bare metal or, or you know, you slamming your knee on bare metal, it, it provides a nice cushion base. So that's the, that's the first advantage to it. Uh, let's talk about the temperature of the product. If you live in hot climate uh, or it gets really hot where you live at, this stuff is fairly temperature neutral. Compared to aluminum, it's gonna, it's gonna absorb the heat, but it isn't going to be uh, as hot to the touch. Uh, it's not gonna scald you like uh, a, bare, a bare metal would or even sometimes vinyl uh, will will get you pretty burnt. So um, anyway, that's that's another advantage to the hydro turf. Uh, it also provides, uh, talking about the cushiness of it, uh, the the foam base, it, it, it's, a, it's a great baffle. Uh, and by a baffle, uh, I mean it's a, it's a sound barrier between you and the water. And that's a very critical point when you're fishing, uh, maybe finicky fish or uh, hunting, big game and, and just uh, trolling along the banks or, or sitting there and waiting pre-daylight for ducks to come in. You're, you know, who wants to hear shells hit the floor of the boat? Um, not me. Who wants to hear lead hit the floor of the boat or, or, or you know, that kind of thing. Um, any Anytime you drop something on an aluminum floor, you're going to get a, a real heavy noise. So this stuff provides a really good sound barrier. Okay, guys, uh, let's talk about cleaning hydro turf. Uh, as you can see, this is the cut group stuff. It's pretty easy to clean. You just run a brush over it and rinse it off. You can also use soap if you get blood in it or stain it somehow. Uh, it, it, and being that it is cut groove, it will allow for water dispersal, especially if you install it. Uh, you always want to install it uh, bow to stern. The groove's bow to stern. In other words, the groove's parallel to the boat, not perpendicular to the boat. So that's a, another tip for when you're installing it. Um, the other thing I, uh, I want to talk about is, is just how, how easily it cuts with just a razor blade. Sometimes it's, it's tough to cut carpet or, or make small tune changes while you're trying to install it. Um, this stuff just cuts like butter. It's, it's amazing how easily it cuts. So uh, just a really, really solid product, rock solid. Much, in my opinion, much better uh, ankle support as compared to vinyl or carpet. Um, all around, just a just a really good product put out. Now, uh, that kind of covers the advantages. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what you can order. So you can, I think you can order it in the five mil or the three mil thickness. Again, I would go with the five mil thickness. This here is the gator green color and it's a cut groove gator green color. Uh, I picked it up from a guy down in Florida, I think at A and D Performance, I believe was, was the gentleman I talked to down there, really cool guy. Um, he gave me a great deal, much better than the manufacturer price. When I called them, uh, the lady was minimally helpful. This guy knew a lot more. Uh, he just had his stuff together, so. Um, yeah, give that dude a call. More props to him. Uh, I might be able to shoot a link down at the bottom for it, but I'm pretty sure you can look him up online and, and find him very easily. So uh, if you're looking to get into this stuff, I think it's about $60, $70 a sheet, somewhere in there without the 3M backing. It comes in two options. 
One, it's, it comes in just the standard back uh, without a 3M stick on there. The other option is the 3M back. The 3M back is a far superior uh, option quality of product wise. Price point wise, out of this world. <laughs> Get ready to break out your wallet. Um, you're talking about a $30 to $40 a sheet uh, price increase. How do they get away with that? I don't know. Uh, it's it, How do they figure it's worth that much? I don't know. I mean, you throw a little sticky back on there, give me a break. Um, anyway, I was, I was a little bit distraught about that because I really do like the 3M back. Um, I did pick up some 3M back from the guy I bought the boat from. He had some scrap left over. So yes, I have used both contact cement to apply it, like on this one where you would have to put contact cement on. And I have used the 3M backing. Uh, in a nutshell, contact cement works. Problem is it's messy, it's contact cement, it's gooey, it's just not great to apply. But it does work, it gets the job done, and you save yourself quite a bit of money, especially on the bigger jobs where you have to put down four or five sheets of this stuff to, to cover your boat. You know, those 18 to, to 30, 35 foot boats that you guys are using for fishing and hunting and things like that, that's, uh, that's definitely going to be uh, probably a contact cement unless you're made of money. So um, check them both out. Uh, again, I, if you can afford the 3M backing, more power to you. That's that's a great option. Let's uh, let's move into uh, into the disadvantages of a hydro turf, and there's really not many to cover. Uh, the the first one is the price point. Uh, the price point is is relatively expensive, even for the bare sheet. Um, you're still looking at 60 bucks a sheet and that's a, I believe a 86 by 50 something. Anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough one to eat up, especially if you've got a bigger boat. Um, you're going to be, you're going to be probably spending five, $600, I would imagine, uh, even getting it at a good rate. So, um, that, that's one disadvantage to it. Um, the other disadvantage as we talked about was the contact cement. And then if you use contact cement or the 3M backing, it doesn't do well when you bend it around a 90 degree angle. So um, we're gonna go at the end of this video and take a look at my install. So stay tuned for that. But when you turn it at a 90 degree angle, it tends to just do this. It doesn't tend to, to wrap corners as well as I would, uh, I would hope. But again, that's just part of uh, the material that's used to make this product in general isn't, isn't um, isn't extremely forgiving it is forgiving but it's not uh, extremely forgiving so as you're going to see and i'm going to i'm going to run out there right now and we're going to look at my boat and you're going to see that i had to put trim on the risers because i did decide to use the risers that's the other option you guys have is you can actually uh, put it just on flat surfaces of your boat or you can put it on the risers um it's just a personal preference i i don't like to kick uh, bare metal, you know, I'm, I'm always bouncing around. I'm rough on my stuff. So I just decided to put it on my risers as well. And, uh, let's go outside and, uh, and that pretty much covers the advantages and disadvantages to hydro turf. We're going to run outside here really quick. I'm going to keep you guys on the line here. Uh, I know you're excited to see this and I'm excited to show it to you. So let's go look at it right now. All right, here we go, guys. I'm going to get some nice, uh, coverage option. Now guys, one topic for discussion here is, is how does it fade out? Um, it does fade, as you can see right here. The, the faded stuff is, is from about five years ago um, and the new stuff has just been installed. And uh, you know, it doesn't, it, it doesn't fade too bad, but it does fade a little bit. Here's the, here's the 90s I was telling you guys about. Just aluminum 90, thin, thin aluminum 90, 16th of an inch uh, pop rivets. Uh, set of pop rivets will do, do the trick. With the scrap stuff, some ideas with the scrap stuff uh, are, as you can see, the accessory boxes, the gun boxes, the corners, lids, cargo containers, 
pretty much uh, sky's the limit with, with that as well. I elected to put my gear on top instead of cut out the hydro turf and, and uh, cut out the hydro turf and, and put the, you know, go over things like over the seat pedestals and, and as you can see here, I put the pedestals over the hydro turf instead of cutting the hydro turf once it's over the pedestals. But just tips and tricks, you know, to make it look good. I think, I think I'm really happy with my job on this. Um, it, it was time consuming, a little bit more so than, you know, as a final note, it, it, it just was, uh, it was time consuming to do this process. But I think in the long run, I, I really, I really came out with a, with an exceptionally good outcome and uh, I'm happy with it. So I know this has been a pretty long video, but I really wanted to give you guys the rundown. This stuff isn't cheap. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get some comments. Why do you spend 11 minutes talking about hydro turf? Because you're going to spend 400 to 500 dollars buying it. So that's the reason why I'm going to I'm going to go in depth on it uh, as compared to other things where you're going to spend 20 or 30 bucks. So um, I've used both the 3M back, the regular back, the product. The other disadvantage is the product fades, um, and then the wrap is the rest of the wrap is great. Hydro turf is great stuff, um, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It helps me out, helps me get views. Um, and uh, if you have anything to add, any anything you can think of, maybe what the use of the scrap material, um, you know, ease of, of an install, let's make this video popular because I'm having trouble finding anything as in-depth as, as what I'm trying to give you guys here. So like and subscribe. Add any questions you might have. It takes me a while to get to questions. I'm a busy guy, super busy. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate it, guys. Take care. Enjoy your day.